Hi everyone, in this video we'll be going over the CSS clip path property. This is a much more advanced version of the clip property. With the clip property you could only clip rectangles, but the clip path property gives you the ability to clip any shape you can think of. So let's get started. So the clip path property has four geometric values that you can set with it. The first is inset, and you have polygon, circle, and ellipse. We'll first look at how they work, and then we'll go into some examples. So the inset value has four parameters that need to be set. They follow the same order as the margin or padding property would. Top, right, bottom, and then left. Each of these parameters are the distance from their respective side. So the top property could be 30 pixels from the top, or the left property could be 10 pixels from the left. Next, we'll look at the polygon value. This value can take any number of parameters. Each parameter consists of an X coordinate and a Y coordinate, X being the distance from the left side of the page, and Y being the distance from the top of the page. So in this example, point 1 is 0% from the left and 100% from the top. I should mention that the parameters can be in any units, just like the padding or margin property. Continuing to point 2, we have the coordinates 50% from the left and 0% from the top. And point 3 will be 100% from both the left and the top of the page. To see how the circle and ellipse work, we will use a cool web application that I will link below. So this is a neat web application. You can pick from a variety of shapes on the right and then drag the little colored circles around. The CSS code will be generated automatically for you at the bottom of the page. Here is the triangle shape we already looked at. As you can see when I move the red circle, the red percentage at the bottom of the page changes. Let's look at the circle value now. This one requires two parameters. The first is the radius of the circle. We can use the red circle to change the CSS radius value. The second parameter will give the coordinates for the center of the circle with respect to the top left corner. The last one we will look at is the ellipse. It is almost the same as the circle value requiring the center coordinates, orange in this case, but this time the radius has two values instead of one. This is because the ellipse has a vertical and a horizontal radius that need to be set. Let's now jump into some code examples. So I have already set up a basic HTML file with a single image in it. For the CSS, I have set the height and width to 100% so that it fills the page making it easier for us to see the changes we make. Let's first uncomment the inset value. We have set it to 10% for all four sides of the image. So this image should cut off a 10% border around the image. Let's see if it works. So here is the original image. Let's hit refresh and see what we get. Perfect, this is exactly what we expected to get. Let's try changing the top to 40% and see what happens. Refresh again. Nice, the top is now 40% cut off. Let's comment the inset value out and uncomment the polygon value. We have three points set, just like the example we looked at. Let's refresh the page again. Awesome, this is exactly what we got in the example. We'll now check out the circle value. For the circle value, we have the radius parameter set to 20%, and the center of the circle will be in the middle of the page. If we refresh the page once again, we can see the little circle that we cut out of the image. Let's make the circle a bit bigger. We'll do 50% this time. Awesome, it's a much bigger circle now. Let's finally check out the eclipse value and then we will go back and add some more points to the polygon shape and see what we get. For the ellipse, looks like we have a 5% x-axis radius and a 40% y-axis radius. This will be a tall and skinny ellipse. Perfect, this is exactly what we expected. Let's now go back and play around with the polygon shape again. Let's add two more points. The fourth will be 30% from the left and 40% from the top. And the fifth will be 25% from the left and the top. 
I have no idea what shape to expect here. Oh wow, that's a crazy shape. It makes sense though. We can see each of the five points. And if we draw a line from point to point, we will get this shape. Point one, point two, three, four, and five. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, leave in the comments any other CSS properties that you would like me to cover in the future. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.